Reef DBM is coming at you today with an update on our garden and actually our tiller, our Husqvarna tiller. Um, a lot of people look at our gardens as they drive by and they love how straight our rows are and they see us in the spring out there working and they're always asking us how are we keeping our rows so straight, how are we getting those you know beds in so well and you know how's our tiller working and the answer is it's working great. Uh, our Husqvarna though has a 10 inch furrow on it that we bought offline a couple of years ago. It's a great little device, we absolutely love it. Um, Here's the details from a website. I just grabbed a quick snapshot of it. Um, fits some Craftsman's, fits some Husqvarna's. Attaches to the little, um, you know, leveler blade in the back with uh, just a couple quick bolts. It's really easy to put on and off. Um, a simple wrench and it comes right off. A simple wrench and you put it back on. You can actually put it on with um, four um, uh, nuts and uh, two U-bolts. I tend to use just the two because I like to take it off easier. It doesn't need the extra strength. Um, the clay here is hard, but it works. Um, this is all the way in the up position. So this would be as shallow of a furrow as you could put in. Um, typically for me, I set the furrow down about, you know, four to six inches when I till. And, you know, this is after I've tilled the dirt. So I basically till the garden. Then I come back and I, I put my, my rows in. I absolutely love this. Um, I've learned to walk in the rows when doing it, so um, it makes it nice and compact at the bottom of the of the furrow, and uh, I love it a lot. This is a great little um, you know tiller, and it makes really nice rows. As you can see here, we're putting in popcorn rows. I'm not even using a sight line. I'm just you know doing it by hand, uh, just by my own vision, and the tiller walks a row really nicely. Um, one of the things I'd recommend if you haven't seen this tiller is to go check out our um, previous video on it. There will be a link at the end of the video where you can click on it and go see it. But this is it cutting through. It does great. It just, you know, I mean, this is clay soil. It's a little bit on the heavy side, I get that. This soil has been tilled about a week before. And uh, at this point, you know, I'm just going through it. Um, I've got the tiller on, the furrow's on, and it's making about a five well, four and a half, five inch hole at this point. Um, and I just till a line. I'll set the camera up here on one of the fence posts and then I'll show you how it goes as far as from a distance. Again, I'm not not using a, a, a sight line or a string or anything like that. I don't really need to. Um, the tiller walks so easy and so straight. Our garden has a little bit of a slope to it. So obviously I'm going downhill in this picture which is you know, really easy to uh, manipulate the tiller. I got to use a little bit more push when I come back uphill on it. Obviously, the deeper you make um, the tool dig in, the more you have to kind of work to to help it along, depending upon how loose or, or hard your soil is. Um, in this situation, I can pretty much do it one-handed. You see, as I come up to the top, I've only got one hand on the tiller um, at times, but um, it works really well. I I highly recommend this if you got a Husqvarna or one of those. Craftsman tillers, and you're looking for a way to make a really nice row in your garden. Um, to me, this is definitely a way to do it. Um, it connects very easily. It's a very strong little piece of, of metal on the back, and it just makes life a lot simpler when it comes to planting. I appreciate you watching, folks. Um, again, this is just a, a review of the attachment that goes on our Husqvarna um, CRT tiller, um, and we love it. It's just a great little furrow. Please like or subscribe and support the channel. We'll keep putting out great videos like this. Check out the review on the tiller too.